This is my confession. Yeah. I don't know the rest of the song. Hi guys, what's up? It is Kamaria. Hi guys, what's up? It is Kamaria, and today I'm gonna to be giving you guys some of my confession. In fourth grade, there was this girl. She had like really long hair. Like she always like flipped it in my face. One day, the teacher changed like the seating arrangement. We were right next to each other. I had a pair of scissors. I cut off some of her hair. I don't think she noticed because her hair was too long. Even if she did notice, I probably wouldn't have cared, but I probably would have gotten in trouble. <laughs> you can stop swinging your hair in my face. Okay, so for one of my birthdays, we were swimming. I was just kind of short, and guess what I decided to do? I decided to go to the deep end of the pool, and I drowned. My godmom's friend, he had a suit, and he jumped into the pool, fully clothed, and had to save me, because <laughs> I was drowning. <laughs> it was a memorable birthday. Another birthday. I had at Chuck E. Cheese. At Chuck E. Cheese, there's this mouse. He's like the mascot. He has this huge smile. I was honestly scared of anybody or anything with a smile on their face. You have a smile plastered on your face like this. You probably scare me because no one's that happy. Like, bring it down three notches. Bring it to here. No. So Chucky comes up to me, he's trying to wish me a happy birthday, you know, everybody else is all happy. I'm like, oh no, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, Chucky is following me with this huge smile on his face. You're a giant mouse with a smile on your face, get away. So, also when I was younger, I was scared of clowns because... You know, they still they have that smile plastered on their face with all that paint on your face and your colorful afro. If you don't get out of here with that, that's not natural. Sorry if you like pugs. I like dogs, but pugs are pugly. Kinda like the face I just made. I like broke my laundry detergent basket right now. I have this giant red teddy bear. I used to like use it as a punching bag. I was not a violent kid, but I always wanted to know how to fight. I wanted to learn karate as a kid, and I kind of still do, because like, I want to be like, fight me. Fight me! I had like this huge vine obsession. I don't know why I keep using my hand. I try to go on vine for like one minute, you end up like scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. They see me scrolling. They hate it. I'm double jointed. So I am very insecure about that. Looks like my arm is broken, but I promise you it's not. I used to dance, right? I have this CD of my dance. I was in a dance group and like it was like a lot of kids. Everybody looks the same on stage because we're wearing the same costume and we're doing the same dance. My family, when they saw it, they pointed me out because of my freaking arms were like this. Instead of like... Do, 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 do. I was younger, I only hated pink because pink was a girly color. I was not a tomboy, but I also wasn't a girly girl. I like thought boys were so cool. Like not like, oh my god, oh my god, he's so cute, kind of cool. Like I didn't like how girls act and I was like, <laughs> I don't know, I just envied boys. Like I like wanted to be one of them. Not like change my whole gender because I didn't even know about gender changing and genders honestly i didn't even know what genders were at the time my dad bought me hats and i was that was it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you want to see more videos from me you can like this video if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up and if you want to follow me on any of my social medias do that I feel like I'm dabbing a lot in like my recent videos.